with three defeats and one draw, ranked number three in the world by the IBF Heritage. He is the fighting pride of all England. And a very different one to Pulev. Very different. Straight in with the head there, accidental from Tackman. Fell straight with his head landing, I think, flush on the nose. Of Say in boxing, you've got to go through all sorts. Look at that head going in. That was really nasty. Straight away, Adam, I said he's broken his nose immediately. You can see the reaction from Anthony, but it's not just that. The shape of his nose has changed. There is now a bump on Anthony's right-hand side of the nose. Where the it looked like a heavy clash of heads. Josh looking like he's going to work here slightly, body and head. And he finds a punch, just a wobble tack out. Blood from the... Yeah, put some last shots together there, Joshua. Maybe, you know, put a little bit of pressure now with that nose that may be broke. I mean, that head came in heavy and landed flush on the nose. Come on, they touch gloves. And the left hand from Takam. And Josh... Behind the relaxed jab. Walking down, as he is doing now, actually, just backing up from where he wants him, but he's got to watch that aggressive counter from Tappen, because he's looking at firing back. It's just with the right hand, and Tappen shrugs his shoulders. Doesn't stop him early, that could come back to haunt him. Vladimir Klitschko lost an early fight to Ross Purity, a bit like that, when he outlasted him in the Ukraine, but Joshua has that power, the equaliser, good uppercut. Tattoos of pain, so both of them have had their injuries. Both still standing, and Takam's gonna go for it. Oh, but Joshua went the knockdown. 15 seconds left in the fourth, and he has to put a glove down there. Carlos Takam, he's in pain, he's been floored, but the bell's gonna come any second. What's gonna happen when Carlos Takam goes back to his corner? was a punch that caused the cut, unlike the head clash that the caused shot. the nose. Slashing right hook there from Joshua, looks like that's the punch that opened up the cut. It is. the right eye. Here we go. Phil Edwards is in the corner, and they're looking at the cut, and I think they're going to pull him out as tough as they can. Causing discomfort, he's, he's blocking his vision. I think he's going to just go for it now and try and land something effective on Josh. That will be dangerous. It's affecting him, Carl. You can see he's wincing. It's affecting him. And he must never have been caught like this before. This is good combination punching from Anthony Joshua here. Lefts and rights, planting his feet. Just needs to keep himself composed. The Takam's still dangerous. Yep, throwing the leather, Carlos Takam. Trying the rights and left. How he would have had to deal with Kubrat Pula. You can see that both are wounded, but it seems like Anthony Joshua is dealing with the problem better. These are good shots from Anthony Joshua. Takam showing how tough he is. Like I say, he's not going to want to quit here, but he's digging it. Best punches is really sitting down on these shots, Joshua. Loading up and relaxed with his loading, so he's putting heavy shots together. Oh, really. good uppercut though. Joshua yeah. found it. Nice he did that to Klitschko, and that was a perfect punch. Takam just wobbled there. 50 seconds left in the sixth round. And the eye is a complete mess. And the left hook, that last. He's trying to... He's targeting the body of Anthony Joshua, Carlos Takam is, and he keeps, keep going back to Anthony Joshua's body. Is this... We say it's not going very far, it's gone halfway, and hardly anybody thought it would. Well, I didn't think that cut at some stage was going to stop it for Takam, but they seem to have got through that, the referee's happy with what he's seen, the doctor's allowed it to go, so, you know, there we say, can we disregard the cut now above Takam's eyes? Joshua's winning every round for me, he's doing an awful thing. Most powerful heavyweight on the planet, and he's, he's, he's digging in. It, it's what makes us commentators and journalists as he lends a right hand there, Carlos Takam. Respect you fighters so much. There's a cut on the other eye now, both eyes cut, and he's still blasting away, Carlos Takam. The championship fighters have Anthony Joshua pick these things up also while this fight's going on. Right hand from Takam. He hasn't really been able to hurt Joshua, but he has landed. And Joshua pads up towards the, you know, the fight that we're talking about ahead of the game against Deontay Wilder. Big shots from Carlos Takam. He's still full of energy. All that biking in the Alps. The mountain biking that he loves so much. Standing in an excellent stead, but these punches are being painfully delivered by... See anything like this. Well, I think Joshua's Big right it. hand from Joshua, but still Takam takes it. He's added cut on both eyes. Is there any danger?
Croatia, guys, that he could be outlasted here down the stretch with the heavy weight, with the fact that Takam is still in this and has the experience. Usually as I'm at a stage like this in a fight with it being so one side, I would usually say, let's start looking at the corner to pull their guy out. But I'm going to be honest, this is the richest prize in sport, the heavyweight championship in the world. So there is no pulling out a fighter in, the, in, the, in a fight of this magnitude. Anthony, for me, he'll get a second win. Then. We didn't have easy nights with them. For Joshua. And again a left hook, and Takam says, Come on, man, what's this guy made of? Phenomenal. Body and head work there from Joshua. Two nice hooks to the body. There's Takam. It's that one opportunity, the goal of um, good right hand from Takam, but Joshua not really bothered now by the, by the power and the punches from Takam. 27 knockouts in his 35 wins, Carlos Takam. It's not a powder puncher, and maybe late on, and he's starting them coming forward. Maybe that was always the plan from their camp. But that's a good shot from Joshua. Who Someone stepped in to fight for the undisputed heavyweight championship on literally two weeks notice. Nobody's done it in decades. Usually an event will be cancelled. It's down to the courage and the bravery that Carlos Takam, who's fought with bad cuts to both eyes. But it has not stopped him rolling on. And he's still at second with one big shot. Carlos Takam does not have that same, you know, punch in his arsenal. So don't be surprised if we see the end. Good uppercut. Again, the big thick legs of Carlos Takam did a dance. But he stands upright. Granada's having a close look now. He's not going to want to see too much sustained punishment because Takam's not going to win this. Anthony Joshua now retains his world heavyweight titles. It is Scott Carlos Takam complains. He bitterly protests. He has been outstanding as a challenger on such short notice. But ultimately, it came down to Anthony Joshua's cross punch power and his freshness that got him through what was it's going to be fascinating to hear from him about the nose about the grit and toughness of Carlos Takam because he's learned something very different tonight AJ we'll see Takam there taking heavy shots shrugging it off smiling Phil Edwards very experienced referee having a look at these damaging shots going in nothing really coming back the legs of Takam doing that little shake you to see him show slow. that he's hurt, he's slowed down. I mean, you can't argue with a stoppage, but I think Takam wanted the moral victory. Yes. I think he wanted to hear the final bell. And I think the crowd wanted him to hear it too, because coming in on tour, that's why they're booing. No one boos at an Anthony Joshua fight, but I understand where they're coming from. You know, he's a proud man, he's done unbelievably well. He has a moral victory tonight by getting as far as he did, but ultimately, you're running the dangers. If you let this go on, you're running the dangers that he could get hit. Very difficult decision for Phil Edwards to make. But Anthony Joshua looked like he was on course anyway, winning the rounds. And although some sticky moments and some defensive uh, issues, probably to tighten up on again, he was hit a few times. Maybe Robert McCracken would have been unhappy at patches. But overall, it was a good performance from Anthony Joshua. And what we'll remember from this is the effort, energy, and substance of the fighter that's Carlos Takam. There was a heavy right hand went in there before before the couple of punches they missed. At one minute, 34 seconds of round of number 10, the winner by TKO victory, and still the reigning and defending undefeated IBF, IBF, WBA, heavyweight champion of the world.